Greetings, travelers, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Golden Sun, The Lost Age, presented by Draco Breach. We are back in Contigo to continue our search for... Oh, look, a teleport pad. Anyway, to continue our search for multiple things. One is actually this tree. This tree stump. This tree stump right here, where we want to use something that we did not have until now in Force. And... Say hello to somebody who's just going to join you. I could have done this a long time ago. I kind of decided to leave it to last. Um, because of various reasons. Now, like all the other Final Gen, it will not actually um, change Garrett's class. So, let us away. People are probably staring at that circle like, what just happened? Anyway, this is the true entrance to Animo Sanctum. You may have noticed that we couldn't actually go anywhere when we went there. And you may notice these strange looking um, locations here. Well, before we go any further, I do want to tell you that this area, this door right here, is impossible to open if you did not low if you did not enter a password to get a party over that had all the uh, all Jin from the previous game because what this requires is all 72 Jin that I currently have equipped and I'm showing you so first step we reveal that we have all the Jupiter Jin available and the Jupiter Light uh, Fire Lights. We show that we have all the Mars Jin and the Mars the Mars Light Fire Lights. Next, we show that we have all the Mercury Jin. And finally, oh, I said Jupiter earlier. I meant Venus. This is Jupiter. Why do I always get those two names? <laughs> anyway, continue on. Welcome to the inner sanctum. We inherited the power of the land to create great darkness. If you crave this power, attack this slate. And we get a free summon. Hmm, that seems rather odd. Charon can now be summoned, which requires eight Venus and two Jupiter Jin on standby. So yeah. Some insane power there. Um, in this dungeon, there are four new enemies, not including the boss. And only two of them really have items that are of note, and this Bombardier does not have one of them. Bombardier has 548 hit points. He is going to be weak to water and strong to fire. Now, he does drop a golem core, so it is potential that you might want some equipment from this guy. I don't. Because right now, I'm mainly going for Orichalcum and Dark Matter. Um, Garrett is not going to get show off Dark Matter. By the way, I have nearly 100% uh, unleash rate on a lot of my characters, so on, well, at least this team of characters. I need my map. Okay, so, where are we? We're there. There leads... Wait, this is a complete dead end on the other side, isn't it? Mad Demon, I was actually looking forward to seeing you. Unfortunately, you are not in a either you're either 
you're both not a uh, in a surprise attack and you're not with somebody else. Anyway, Mad Demon has 745 hit points. He is going to be uh, weak to wind, strong to earth, and he drops the Luscious Lush Luscious Rule. Da -da -da. That's actually an item that I want. It's um. It's weird. It, it, it has the highest attack power of all weapons in the game that um, Shiba and Mia can equip. But its unleash is arguably worse than the Atropo staff. It's weird to think about, honestly. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's that. Okay. Wait, where? That's easy enough to jump over. Where does that lead? Door. Right. And the Sky Dragon, another enemy that I actually want to see, but in a surprise attack. The Sky Dragon is going to have 657 hit points, and he can drop or halcom. Uh, weak to wind, strong to earth. It also is somewhat weak to fire, but that weakness is not important. Yeah, Ivan just showing off to Spone Edge and why it's so good. I don't think I was supposed to go that way yet, but eh, may as well. Um, I think I am there. Yeah, I can't do anything there. Right, I had to go that way anyway. Because this way would have been blocked otherwise. If we go down, we'll notice... Hello, Mad Demon. Can one of you show up with a friend and in a surprise and be surprised by our presence? Now, I will also be honest, I got everybody up to level 50, except for this team. They'll, they'll level up to 50, that's not a problem. But I'm still not sure I'm a high enough level. Yes, I just said that I'm not sure level 50 is a high enough level. And there is actually a reason for that. Um, do I want to go upstairs or downstairs? For that actually doesn't matter. Okay, last enemy in here is the Grave Knight. I'm actually kind of surprised that it showed up at this late. Um, Grave White, I should say, actually. Grave White has 460 hit points, so he's actually the weakest one in here. He dr does drop an item that you might be interested in getting a few of, being the Psy Crystal, but I'm not terribly interested in it. He has a severe allergic reaction to fire. He's also weak to earth and wind, but that's not a, that, those are not the important weaknesses. And he's also kind of, sort of, weak to water. Again, not an important weakness. So he has absolutely no strengths. Um, Mia, go after him, you... Ow! Wow, I actually might be able to show off Garrett's Unleash. With his new Dark Sword. That depends on how much damage... Never mind. I just kind of realized it depends on how much damage that does. There's something I need to do in here. I did that wrong. Or did I? Oh, no, you go... Yes, you go up. What am I thinking? Interesting. I keep accidentally going the right way. My map doesn't actually tell me <laughs> uh, what traps await, so yes, that is actually a bit of a surprise. Um, going up is a dead end, I believe. And yes, I'm going up, because... Oh yeah, Garrett has a thousand hit points. Thought I would point that out. Okay, yep, that's a dead end. So basically, yeah, I had to go this route of C. That's kind of hilarious. Anyway. 
That leads us... Oh, all the way back here. Okay. That takes us here. Which actually leads to a treasure chest pretty soon. Uh, okay. I probably could just have Garrett attack one enemy by himself and show off his uh, unleash because he's probably not going to have a chance to show it off before the boss, the way we're going. Okay, this goes down to that treasure chest. Weird. Which we get some dark matter. Um, this dark matter I actually specifically want for something that Jenna is going to wear. Uh, that, okay, I'm sorry. That Jenna would, um, wear if I were going into a, uh, player versus player match. You know what? You know what? Defend, defend. Attack, defend. Dark Sword. That's what it does. And he survived, because of course he did. Now, the thing about Archeon's Grief is that it is Earth Elemental. So it's not the best thing for him to have, technically. And go, going up there, obviously, there's no point. Um, we are here, so what do we want to do? Oh, this kind of room. Oh, boy. Um... Hmm. I went the wrong way. And this explains this room. Oh boy, this is going to be very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Okay. No. Uh, this is gonna take him. This is gonna take a hot minute. There is also the possibility that um, they will randomly drop what they have. Sky Dragon randomly dropping an Aura Calcum would be amazing, honestly. Although speaking of Orichalcum, I used the Orichal I did use the Orichalcum, and I did not get exactly what I wanted, but I did get a decent item, and that's the Psychic Circlet, which, um, oh my goodness, Mia will never run out of, uh, will never, did I do this wrong again? Yes, I did. Oh, my. Oh, boy. The step on a single tile puzzles. I'm not a big fan of. Oh, boy. Okay. From here, what we want to do... It's not really because they're hard. It's because I make dumb mistakes. Okay, that takes us... Uh, there, okay. I'm not too terribly concerned about getting the item drops right now. Because, I mean, if, if I get the, the, um, Washius rule, that's great. I'm not terribly concerned with it. 
Um, I'm not going to say that it's a bad item. Trust me, it's it's not. Um, but the main purpose would be it for um, you can't right. So you need okay. It's mainly for the damage because it is higher than the Atropote um, Rod. Really, buddy? Oh. Oh. Wow, I actually have to... Hmm. Unfortunately... Actually, no. That, that, is that poison? I did not see... Yes, it is. Okay. I'm not going to have that chance, though. Oh, well. We'll end the battle. Have Mia use a couple of, uh, a couple of things. Okay. It's basically for um, what you believe to be the best um, skills to use. Oh boy. What you believe the best um, items to use. What am I thinking? <laughs> To be in, um... Player versus player. Oh my goodness, I cannot think. Um, one thing to keep in mind is the Atropo Rond Life Life Shear is um, Life Shear is fire damage. Lashias rule is um, wind damage, so neither of them are. Oops, neither of them are really going to be right for um, Mia, uh, whereas the Lashias rule will be just fine for Shiva. Basically, Shiva will be able to add more damage. Um, with her Jupiter syner synergy, then Mia will be able to add with her water synergy. Is basically, basically the gist of that. Thing is... I am missing something here and I don't know what. I'm probably in the wrong spot, to be honest. Let's see. Yeah, I'm, that's really all it is. Uh, oh. <laughs> Pay attention to your surroundings. That's what I'm looking for. So that's permanently there. What am I doing? I didn't need to do that just yet. <laughs> Cause that's good because I just reset it reset the room. Okay, Mr. Sky Dragon.
Now the equipment set that I have is not going to be necessarily the best equipment for this dungeon. Um, that's going to be a little interesting to explain once we get to a certain point. Lift. Move. Okay. Jump across. And squeeze this log under that boulder. And we finally have, <laughs> after five years, this door open. Anyway, that will be it for today. So for the time being, this will be Draco Breach reporting out. God bless and safe travels.